You start with k points, and you lose two for each task not completed. So here's someone that fails 100 tasks, and they end up with 200. So we rested for 10 hours, that means we traveled for 133 hours, and 5 miles per hour. Six sixty-five. If W equals M G, where G comes from this table, so for Mercury it's three point six, and the mass comes here. We multiply those two, ninety times three point six, so it's going to be above two seventy. There's our answer D. So they give us a two-part scenario on Earth, which has 9.8 for the G, would have a weight of 150. So 150 is equal to 9.8 M. So this is going to be ballpark 150 divided by 10. It's going to be about 15. So M is around 15, maybe a little bit more. The second part of this question says, on which planet would the same object have a weight of 170? So 170 is equal to... 15 G. And we can plug that back in to find the planet. So if I divide both sides by 15, I get somewhere right around 11. Closest one here is Saturn, B. Current density is the current divided by area. So current density is equal to current divided by area. They tell us that for the area, we can use this, and the current, we can use that. So the density is equal to 15 over 6, 2 and a half. We have a beef equation, a chicken equation, and we're told that they are equal. So we can set them equal to each other. And if you didn't want to deal with decimals, you can multiply everything by 100. I'll move the x's to the right. I have 15x. I'll move the numbers to the left. I have 60. So x is going to be 4. That's not the answer, though. They want to know what was the price per pound of beef at this time. So when x was 4, what was the price per pound of beef? So a quarter times four is a dollar, plus 235 is 335. So we have a linear function, uh, demand Q based on selling price P. So when the price was $40 a unit, the demand was 20000 When the price went up to 60, we'll put that over here, the demand went down to 15,000. And this is the linear relationship. As the price goes up, the demand goes down. So 55 is not halfway, but three quarters of the way to 60. So think about the difference between 15 and 20K. It's $5,000 difference. So we are three quarters of the way to the 15,000 which means we are 12.50 away, so that's why the answer is A. Halfway would be 17.5, and then a quarter would be 16.25, and we go from there.
12 friends rented. So 12 times $3 in shoes. And how many total games did they play? 4 bold 2, so that's 8 plus 8 bold 3, that's 24. 32 games. All together, this is the cost. So if I take 212, which is the total cost, and I subtract 36, which was the cost for shoes, I have $176 split across 32 games. And the answer is 550 each, or 5.5. .5. If we keep this price of $12 per meal, we multiply it by 400 meals, and we get $4,800. Let's try with some of the other prices. If we bring in $16 per meal, our increase happened 8 times. So it decreased by 10 8 times. So this is now going to multiply by 320. We still come out ahead, though, at 5120 If you try that with a $20 meal, we're going to lose another 80. So this is going to be now 240. And we're back down to 4,800, which was our initial amount. So every time we increase, now we're selling so few meals that eventually it's no longer worth it. A is our best answer. So we have two containers. One has 70, one has 20. And every time it drips, we send... 0.05 this way. So if you think about that, this goes down by 0.05 and this one goes up by 0.05. So the initial difference between the two containers is 50 milliliters and the change for every drip, if you include the decrease and the increase, is 0.1. So 500 drips because we take 50 divided by 0.1. 10 drips is a milliliter times 50.